Discussions between journalists and the White House press secretary often highlight public concerns, particularly media manipulation, political strategies, and the quest for truth in political dialogue. Uh, secondly, there, there seems to be a, a sort of rash of videos that have been edited to make the president appear especially frail or mentally confused. Um, I, I'm wondering if the, the White House is especially worried about the fact that this appears to be a, uh, a pattern that we're seeing more from. Yeah, we, and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith. Uh, and, uh, and some of your news organization uh, have, uh, have been very clear, have stressed that these right wing, uh, the right wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation. Uh, and so we see this, and this is something coming from, from your, your part of the world, calling them cheap fakes and misinformation. Uh, and uh, I'll quote the Washington Post where they wrote uh, they wrote about this and they said how Republican use misleading videos to attack Biden in a 24 hour period. And to their credit, we have a conservative Washington examiner uh, did call them out as well, calling out the New York Post. Uh, ironically, several several recent cheap fakes actually attacked the president for thanking troops. For thanking troops, that is what they're attacking the president for. Both in Normandy, this happened, and again in Italy. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how um, how desperate how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos, uh, and it is again done in bad faith. Karine Jean-Pierre's video clarification, labeled as cheap fakes, can be seen as an attempt to deflect legitimate concerns about the president's capabilities. Critics emphasize the necessity of scrutinizing the president's job performance and mental health, arguing that such scrutiny is vital for ensuring effective leadership. The call for transparency and accountability suggests that suspicions of misinformation may be tactics to divert attention from pressing issues. This underscores the pursuit of authenticity and truth in political communication. As discussions of edited videos and misinformation reflect the ongoing battle to discern reality from manipulation in politics. An honest and unfiltered discourse focused on addressing real problems is crucial for genuine engagement and responsible citizenship. Misinformation and the White House's response to it highlight how criticism of manipulated videos can fuel public distrust and cynicism towards political parties and media organizations. This dynamic reinforces the growing skepticism in a polarized political environment, questioning the motives behind the information people receive. Jean-Pierre's focus on the president's legislative achievements, portraying the video as a malicious attack, can be seen as an effort to bolster the president's image and counter negative perceptions. Emphasizing legislative successes aims to shift the conversation towards positive performance, mitigating the video's impact on public opinion.